do you see the wood strider? It's right over there, among the trees. You don't see it. Keep watching. The next time it moves, you will be able to spot it. Smells us, I think, but it does not know where we are. Ah, I missed, and it's already gone. If the snow had been deeper. It would have been difficult for it to run from us. Hmm. Looks like my arrow broke against a tree trunk. That's not good. I cannot afford to lose too many of those. Did you bring any, like I asked? Should be enough for today. I need to make some more soon. We should head back to camp and get the fire going. It is too cold to stand still. I've been cooped up in the village for weeks. Terrible weather. It's nice to get away from the others. Don't you agree? Do a bit of trapping, tracking, ice fishing, perhaps. It is peaceful out here. The forest is so quiet when everything is covered with snow. I plan to stay at my camp until I catch something big. Big enough to be worth bringing it back to the village, I mean. A wood strider, or better, a hillback. You can stay with me as long as you like. I'm glad you wanted to come with this time. You never seemed interested in hunting. I pulled you along with me a few times when you were younger. Do you remember? I was hoping you'd take a liking to it. The clan needs more hunting. But you never did. You chose a different path. No, no, I'm... I'm not saying you picked the wrong trade. Most of us have little say in the matter anyway. I... I just enjoy your company, so... And I wanted to show you this, the forest in winter. Hunters are uh, usually the only ones to traverse it in the snow. The rest just huddle up in their huts, behind their fences, and guard their food stores. When you spend this much time away from the village, alone out here, 
and rarely in the company of other hunters, the land itself becomes a part of you. Every step connects you with the earth under your feet. I can feel how it is all alive, all connected. It pulsates, waxes and wanes with day and night, summer and winter. I wanted to share that with you. And you can't feel it in the village. Too many people around. Do you like winter? Or would you prefer to sleep it all away? Like a brickleback? I want us to make a small detour. To a trap I set up on a game trail. It will not catch anything big, but perhaps a meal for tonight, just for the two of us. You're glad I missed my shot before. Why? Winter lasts almost half the year. We cannot grow everything. We need to hunt and fish. Maybe further south it would be easier. I've heard winters are shorter there and milder, but not here. The forest provides what the farmers cannot, and the mountains, of course. I know your heart is in the right place, but village life has made you forget a few things. Do you think wild animals that are not hunted lives peacefully and safely and get to grow old. If no one hunted, they would multiply and multiply until food runs out or sickness takes them. Hunters take the sick and the old, the slow and the wounded, so the rest of their clan can stay healthy and live another day. They die for the greater balance and their bodies nourishes others or the land itself. It is the same with us. We are part of the great cycle too. And this is the bond I feel when I hunt. A bond with the forest, the land, my prey. The trap is over there. There is something in it. So it does. 
does not spoil the meat. We can skin it later in camp. Thank you, Brother Longer, for the gift of your body. Your death means life to us. Living out here has become the core of my being. Life and death out here both are intensely present at all times. Village life feels different. We have tame animals that live and die by our mercy. But that feels wrong to me. In the hunt, the prey has a fair chance, as they should. We think ourselves above them. We put such importance on our own kind. The Long Air clan lost someone today, and their life was as valuable for them as our lives are for us. We are not so different. Have you listened to the stories of old Tarek? You should. He remembers what others have forgotten. He claims that we were all hunters a long time ago. That we came from the south and followed the snow runners here. He claims that there was a time when most of the world were covered in ice all year. And nothing grew, except far to the south, where people lived. And then, the ice diminished, and forests grew, where the ground had been frozen deep for generations. Animals followed. Snow runners among the first, I would think, and us, we followed as well, and now we think of ourselves as the people of the north. It must have been a very long time ago, if it is true. We live differently now. There are more farmers and less hunters. We live in one place and build larger dwellings than before. The changes are slow. I would not have noticed if not for the stories of elders like Dara. I wonder what will happen if we continue down this path. Life in the woods and mountains is hard. In the village it is a little easier. But we lose something as well. We pay a price for that easy life. You can feel that, can't you? You came with me today 
because there is something in the village you need a break from. Something you can be free of here, in the snow and silence. A dispute of some kind, perhaps. Expectations. Misunderstandings. Being treated unfairly. These things grow bigger in the village. They come to mean a lot more than they should. They weigh on you when the people who inflicted them are near and they matter little out here where life and death are close at hand at all times. We hide in our houses and behind tall fences to feel safe. But if we push the certainty of death from our minds, how can we feel alive? They are up here, life and death. You cannot have one without the other. In the village, they fear the clan singer so, in winter, when they are hungrier than usual, and their hunger drives them closer to our dwellings than they would dare to come in summer. Their howling at night makes us lock our doors and put more wood on the fire and we sing and tell stories of heroes and gods brave protectors who wins against the dark creatures of the night Have you noticed how so many stories have clan singers as the enemy, but they are no worse than us. I do not wish to meet one or a flock in winter. I do not wish to die any more than the long air did, but my fear does not blind me. I know that the clan singers I hear at night, howling at the moon, are not my enemy. They are just hungry, like us, and they hunt to fill their bellies, like I do. I bet the clan of the long ears have stories about us and how evil we are. Just like we like to tell of the giant clan singer that will swallow the sun one day and bring eternal winter. Do you think we brought our maimed gods with us from the south? Or did we find them here? in the frozen north. In our stories, they fight the creatures of the land, the ones we hunt to stay alive. In a way, they are us, I think. But I would rather work with the land than fight against it. And so I have to accept that I am no different from the long air, that one day I will die and nourish my killer. I do not believe that I will go anywhere else when I die. 
I will stay right here where my feet have tread today and maybe the land will turn me into something new a tree perhaps I would like to be a tree rooted to the land watching the seasons pass I do not know if my words bring you any comfort, friend, but they are all I can give you today, that and the full belly. But first, we need to reach my camp. Keep close to me and walk in my footprints. The snowfall is thickening.